Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Look, look, look. 2305, 2305. Mike Matthews here. And the show entitled Mike's Daily Podcast. Today we're going to talk about something that's going to be great. We're at Cafe Anyway. And I am going to skate around Cafe Anyway and try and knock as many people over as possible I say sorry ahead of time Cafe Anyway Mike Matthews somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont today Mike's Daily Podcast and we're going to have a great podcast picture today I can just tell you that right now because it's going to be something that you see Mike's on Daily your app podcast when you're looking at your podcast app yeah you'll see the podcast picture if not go to mikesdailypodcast.com or go to Instagram, or go to wherever you want to go. Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. Um, and let the words come out and be Sarah Bareilles. Because honestly, I need you to be brave. I'm thinking about 2017 for some reason today. So let's go back to 2017 and possibly... A, a pod, and we'll pick a podcast picture from that wonderful era. Uh, there was so much going on at that time. There was, let's see, we had that was the first year, first official year of Trump. There, <laughs> I gotta post another podcast picture of Basil. Okay, this is him sitting on the red, the infamous red couch. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. He's got a big old smile. And then. Possibly after that, we may go all pets for a while and feature a uh, podcast picture of patches in an upcoming program. But today, don't be one-sided. Why leading with empathy is key to long-term success. Yes, empathy. What's that? Who do you... And here's today's podcast picture. Who has any empathy anymore? That's the question. Empathy might be the most important quality in guiding a company. Yet it's uh, often overlooked or misunderstood. We need it in our lives. Empathy. In our relationships. I was talking to somebody today who recently got married. He's asking me, what do, what do you think? And I'm a, I'm a divorcee. So probably not the best person to ask. But I'll, I told him communication. Uh, don't sweat the small stuff. There's d- the whole thing about don't go to bed angry. I don't know about that. In fact, I believed it for the longest time. Basil. Oh, ba- Basil remembers a couple of times that I had a, a disagreement late at night with my then wife. The whole reason why I had Basil was because of my then wife. She wanted a dog. And then. The late great Basil the Boxer was ended up staying my dog after the divorce, and then uh, I ended up having him for ten and a half years. But yes, don't. Uh, I, I think you can go to bed angry. You need you need your rest, and then in the morning you maybe you'll just laugh about it. But you'll be you'll have better strength. You're, you'll have more of your wits about you. To work through the argument To work through whatever it was That you couldn't work through the night before Because you were too tired And too much was going on Probably a busy crazy day And then some often arguments End up in those loops Where it goes round 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 and round and round And nobody can get to the end of anything So it's good I think to Try and get some sleep And then approach it With fresh eyes but that's the I was saying You know I mean I've I've been dating Lovely lady friend For over Almost three and a half years And it seems That we communicate Rather well We have good chemistry We seem to be able To talk through stuff um, If something gets You know uh, Don't do Oh And this is the, the last thing I'll say about it Don't do the Mind reading thing Oh You know, when you're having an argument, if you're mad at someone and you think, oh, well, they should know what they did wrong. They should be able to read your mind. People are all different. We all sometimes we have no clue. So it's good on both sides not to do the 
mind reading. <clears throat> oh, well, they should just know. They should read my mind. We've been together this long. They should just know. That's impossible. No one can do that. Doesn't matter how long you've been with someone. They just don't. It, that it is not an ability that humans have. They do not have it. Sorry. Humans do not have, but they, they should have empathy. And empathy is a different thing. It means trying to walk in someone else's shoes and seeing things from their perspective. Now, I know we want a little bit of empathy from other people. That's understandable. But the mind reading thing, not so much. Feeling what they feel and using their perspectives to guide you. Just realize that there are limits to that. Here's why empathy is so valuable for people that lead companies. Staying plugged in. Empathy can help your team become stronger during the toughest of times. Uh, 11 nations found that a third of employers or employees develop more trust in their employer amid the COVID-19 pandemic because of how their employers reacted. Nearly the same percentage of employees citing burnout concerns wished their organizations would act with more empathy. You never know what struggles someone is facing. Staying attuned to your employees' feelings and emotions will allow you to better recognize if issues are starting to arise and will put you in a better position to help them avoid burning out. If team members believe they can be honest with you and that you'll respond pragmatically, they'll be more likely to discuss their true feelings and concerns. Their trust in you will help you develop stronger bonds throughout the company. Leading with empathy will allow your team members to operate with empathy too and to better consider the viewpoints of others. And leading with empathy helps your employees know you care about them on a personal level. As we go outside a cafe anyway, where we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast Grove Valley, Mont, the last place on earth, that they mean more than their title or, or that they mean more than that, that they have to meet a particular benchmark. You ask how they're doing and remember their birthdays and kids' names out of actual interest and concern, not obligation or phoniness. So any company can't uh, succeed without others. Value your team members for the dynamic individuals that they are. This from Thomas Asio, co-CEO of the organic meal delivery service Fresh and Lean. And he wrote this in Costco, in the Costco connection, that is. I gave Costco a plug there. Now I'm going to give them a slug. Why did I buy that much tofu? I really did. You know what? I put tofu in my smoothie today and it made it nice and thick. Kind of made it a shake. I liked it. It's easy to be distracted. There's too much to do and not enough time to do it all. But operating with empathy means you're present in the moment, blocking out distractions to give someone your full undivided attention. If someone is trying to tell you something they feel is important and you're half listening, As you answer phone calls and respond to emails, you may miss out on an important clue while also sending the wrong message about your level of care. Okay, that's very good to say as as well. We're outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcast Drove Alley. Look who's here. Hello, Michael Masters, Madame Rudebego, and I have empathy, and I can read your mind. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Uh, Did you read my mind just now? Yes. Did you read my mind just now? Yes. Are you reading it now? No. Okay, good. Hopefully that she doesn't do that for a while. That That's kind of eerie. Look who else is here. Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, we love deep dish pizza day. Yeah, deep dish pizza. Do you know that? I actually do know that because I can read your mind. Remember that song from Superman, the Christopher Reeve movie, Margot Kidder? Can you read my mind? Okay, let's end the show there on a high note, because that was a very, actually, that was kind of a love note. But 
Next show, it'll be the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floor Man, and John Deere the Engineer. Chime in. Tell me what you think about any of this. Call me 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews. Daily is in what this podcast has been for a couple of days. Sometimes we get interrupted. That's how it is. You know how it is. Because you can read my mind. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ciao, dog.